Hello, I'm Elizabeth Puranam in Doha with the top stories on Al Jazeera. More than 50 people have been killed in a residential building fire in South Africa. The blaze broke out in the Marshalltown suburb of Johannesburg. There are reports of residents jumping out of the building to escape the fire. More than 40 people have been injured. Fami the Miller has more. Emergency services have said that uh, at least uh, 52 people have been killed in this fire, uh, which broke out in the early hours of this morning in uh, the central business district of Johannesburg in an area called the Marshalltown. Uh, at least 43 others have been injured. And that death toll rose very quickly um, following the fire being extinguished because the building is an abandoned building and... Um, and once that has happened, uh, it's then taken over and what they call in South Africa, it's hijacked and uh, rooms are rented out to people. And so the building was densely populated. Uh, the emergency services here um, have said that there were no regulations within the building. We've also heard from a councillor uh, that the building should have been condemned. And this is what's contributed to the high death toll and that there have been there are a lot of people in that building uh, and there were very few restrictions in terms of safety. And a fire in Quezon City in the Philippines has taken the lives of at least 15 people, including a three-year-old child. Three people were able to get out safely when the fire ignited in the building that has residential units and a printing business. Crowds have taken to the streets across Gabon to celebrate the military's takeover. Military leaders have named General Brice Oligi Ingema as transitional leader. The UN, the African Union and France have condemned the coup. Hurricane Idalia has weakened into a tropical storm as it moves north over the U.S. state of South Carolina. It's caused widespread flooding and damage in Florida and Georgia. At least three people have been killed in storm-related incidents. At least 50 Palestinians have been injured by gunfire and tear gas after Israeli soldiers stormed the city of Nablus. An Israeli officer and three soldiers were also injured after a large explosive device was detonated by Palestinian fighters.